And still in Uganda, opposition voice is growing stronger against the regime of the incumbent President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni. The latest is the fallout of a former Museveni ally, General David Sejusa, who is now threatening to lead a people revolution against long-serving President Museveni. General Sejusa previously served as intelligence chief before he fell out of favor with Museveni. The general spoke exclusively to KTN's Solomon Serwanja in Kampala. He was one of Ugandan President Jerry Museveni's most trusted men, a four-star general, a member of the high command of the Ugandan forces, and the former director of both the external and internal security organization. General David Sejusa's military profile is that of a well-decorated soldier. His fallout with President Museveni was in June 2013 when he leaked a dossier to the media about an alleged plan to execute top government officials who were against the succession plan. According to the dossier, there were plans to have Museveni's son Mohoz Kainerugaba succeed him as president in 2016. That fallout saw General Sejusa exiled in the UK for two years until he returned recently. His plan? To see the end of President Museveni's 30 year old rule. Museveni can never do any reforms. Don't, that's a waste of time. Uh, because dictatorships are never reformed, <laughs> they are dismantled. As such, the four star general talked of a plan to use people power to enforce change. People will rise up, they will demand their rights, and they have already started. You saw what happened in Urkunji. They arrested when the message was going there. The people went to the police and released themselves. The people can go to that state house, despite Mr. Museven having those guns. Those guns will do nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. What will he do? What will Mr. Museven do? If one million people or a hundred thousand people go, will he kill them, bring tanks? If he shoots people using those tanks, he himself will be accountable and he will see what will happen. Sejisa's threats come on the heels of the rising political temperatures in Uganda as the country prepares for the 2016 elections. Recently, President Jerry Museveni warned against any form of violence during the elections. What happened in Kenya has not happened here. I can tell you this. And the people who try to do that will be smashed completely. Completely. He will not even remain with the church. He shall not allow that election. I had him threaten. No one will stop. No one will stop. Yes, people will stop. People have ever stopped. And he knows it. People stopped to vote. People stopped the 1985 election. They have forgotten. There was supposed to be an election of Dr. Bote in 1985. We stopped it. The people. We were in Ruero, by the way. But the people, they stopped it. In many other areas, yes, people can stop this election because it's meaningless. The founder of the Freedom and Unity Front, a political pressure group, says that he has already started mobilizing in different parts of the country. The statements of General David Sejusa cannot be taken lightly, considering that he has now teamed up with top opposition leaders like Dr. Kiza Besije, who believes in civil disobedience. But whether this can survive the iron fist of President Museveni is a question that history has answered. Solomon Serwanja, KTN News, Kampala, Uganda.